Hey guys, so welcome to my first tutorial. It's going to be on how to do my eyebrows. So I wanted to post this because I actually had a lot of requests, um, you know, on Instagram and on my other videos on how to do my eyebrows. And so just so you guys know, um, this video is how I do my eyebrows, but it's not necessarily the way that I think everybody should do their eyebrows because as you will see in the video, um, I don't have any. So, I mean, I do, but it's very, 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 very sparse. So I can't do the quick kind of pencil blending um, way that a lot of other girls can because they actually are born with great, full, dark eyebrows. Whereas, like, I went through a little phase in high school and kind of like overplucked my eyebrows and they never grew back. So this is what I'm left with. <laughs> so if you want to learn on how I do my eyebrows, go ahead and keep watching. Thanks guys. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you all the products first that you're going to need to complete this look. So the first product is the Dip Down Gel Eyeliner from MAC. It's part of their fluid line. And that's how it looks like, just a dark, creamy, brown gel. And the next item is the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in Medium. And it actually comes with a brown, like softer brown color gel, and then a medium color powder. And I don't know why, but I can't delete this repeat part, so you can just um, ignore this. And then the next product I'm going to show you guys is, I believe, yep, it's Brune Eyeshadow from MAC Cosmetics. And it, um, it's kind of like a dark brown with a slight grayish tone, and you're going to use this to darken your lower um, line. And then you want to use a light-colored concealer to clean up afterwards. I like using the Makeup Forever 5 Camouflage. Five camouflage cream palette um, and then I like using the lightest color in it to help clean up after and then I like using the Revlon brow fantasy in dark brown um, you're gonna use the part two of this in the gel wand to help set your eyebrow and you want to also make sure you have a some kind of like eye brush to groom and then you want to get at least one angled eyeliner brush um, I'm using the e.l.f. small angled brush because it's dense and it gives like a thicker line. Um, and I also like to use a second separate angled eyeliner brush because that way I don't have to worry about cleaning it off. And I also use a third kind of fluffier angled brush just so I can use it for the powder. And then you always want to have a spoolie so you could um, make sure that you can use it to groom your brows after and dust off any extra powder. And you're going to need a concealer brush. I like using the precision precision brush from uh, Real Techniques, and this is to apply the concealer at the end. So as you can see, on the left side is my natural brow, and I typically like to do my eye makeup second, and then I like to do my brows first because I use my eyebrows to basically frame my makeup. So the first thing you're going to do is, of course, brush and groom your eyebrows, or what little you have of them, like I do. <laughs> so after you've brushed, you're going to take fluid line and you're going to apply it, um, starting at the middle of your brow. That way you can um, you don't have to worry about starting too low in the beginning and that way the darkest part of the product or the most product that you're going to apply is towards the middle and not in the beginning of your brow because you do, what, you do want somewhat of a gradient effect. So I start in the middle and then I slowly work my way towards the front and you want to make sure that they end up being even. And if you don't have a tail, you can create it just like I do. And you want to make sure that you're using you're using soft, like quick strokes. That way, if you mess up, it's not a big deal. And if in case you guys do mess up, don't worry. That's what the concealer is going to be used for in the end to clean up any mistakes and just give a sharper, cleaner look. So now we're going to take the dark gel color from the brow kit, 
and you're going to take your second angled eyeliner brush and also starting from the middle you're going to draw in the shape of your actual brow and then you're going to like I said use short strokes with your brush that way you don't have to worry about um, any mistakes and you can kind of take your time taking the shape of your brow and then don't forget to do your tail as well and yet now using the same brush you're going to take a little bit more product and you're going to push the original bottom line that you that you created using the fluid line and you're going to push it with the second product and use it to basically just fill in your brow and again starting from the back and working your way to the front of your brow So now you're going to take that fluffier angled brush and you're going to dip it into the medium um, powder color in the brow kit and now you're going to just tap it and you're going to basically just set it, um, just use it to set the color of the gel that you just applied to your eyebrow. And so now you're going to take the uh, second brush that you used and you're going to dip it in the eyeshadow brune and you're basically just going to apply it to the bottom of your eyebrow um, just to darken it up and to make it look a little bit more sharp and then also give it that gradient effect. And again, starting from the middle and working your way to the front. So now once you've applied that, you're going to use a spoolie and you're basically just going to dust off any excess powder. Um, you're actually going to start in the front um, on this part because you want the front of your brow to look lighter than the rest of your brow. Um, so you're going to just dust off in the front working your way towards the back. So now you're going to take your <laughs> I can't even talk. Your precision brush and you're going to dip it into the light colored concealer just take a little bit because a little bit goes a long way and then I like this brush because it's pointed at the beginning so it's very very precise and I always start in the middle and then I basically just clean up um, the line to make sure that it looks really really clean and crisp um, and you know any powder that might have strayed it cleans it right up and this is a great time to really shape the tail of your brow and to make it as sharp and angled as you want it or don't want it. And like I said, use short strokes. And then also don't forget to do the top of your brow as well to clean that up and to also highlight and it really makes your eyebrows pop. So now you're going to use the gel um, on the wand from the Brow Fantasy to set the shape of your brow. And there you go. That's how I do my brows. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.